When we had last left Team Bald, they were deep within the Nashkel mine, searching for answers, searching for whatever was responsible for this iron ore crisis, turning all of the iron ore rotten and brittle, falling apart at a mere moment's notice. And finally did they reach their destination. Through hordes and hordes of kobolds, kobold commanders, commandos, and all manner of weird, a few slimes and skeletal dudes and huge spiders and traps aplenty, did they uncover Mulahay, who, who was just but a mere man, hired, however, by a greater force at large. It was kind of a mystery who that force was, but that was exactly what Team Bald had set their sights on uncovering. But first they had to get out of the mines and speak to some other people along the way. This is Boulder's Gate, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's see here, oh gosh. Oh jeez, oh gosh, I'm pushing everything. Go! Oh God! Oh, oh okay. There we go. <laughs> now, also, let's see. General viewers, we had a few people write in with some useful information. On Vith wrote in saying that remember when we tried to have Imowen detect traps and all that. The reason why it didn't work is because I had party AI overall toggled off. So now it's on, and everyone's got a very rudimentary AI. I toggled on. Pretty, I, I'm pretty sure everyone is just set up to only auto attack, right? And some people have a preference for like range and all that. Uh, you get the idea. I prefer to definitely have like because you know spell casting is so there's a finite amount per rest, so I prefer to micromanage that myself. But we'll see though. Maybe in the future we'll flip that around because there may be some like debuffs and all that that maybe I should just be using more willy nilly. We'll see. It's also a difficult thing because we don't know, or I don't know what is coming up, right? I don't know if I want to expend a debuff on a trash mob, especially if there's like, there may be like a big mean ass asshole coming up just around the corner, right? But that problem should also be alleviated once we're done with these two timed missions, right? For Minsk and Kavan, which, speaking of which, I have so much anxiety over this that I have to say... I cheated a little bit and looked up the timers on them and <clears throat> the rough map location, but that's about it for Minsk. And actually, I don't think I looked up Kavan's location, but I'm pretty sure we'll get there via just doing main quest stuff. But nonetheless, Kavan, five days in total and Minsk, 10 days in total, right? Very good. And if I have to pick, like we've said, if someone has to go by this method, Minsk is winning every time. Kavan is leaving every time. Minsk wins out no matter what. All right. Also, general viewer Pedro wrote in saying that Jean or Zan is actually kind of a mediocre wizard. And speaking of which, if we f follow out Minsk's stuff, we may get another wizard like companion. But the reason why Jean is not quite so good is because they are more attuned for melee, which isn't exactly very well supported or regarded in Baldur's Gate 1, I suppose. All right. So feeling pretty confident about my decision to leave Jean, Zan, Jean here. Also, gentle viewer, uh... Zazar Lar wrote in saying that we can in fact use a character with high lore, a high lore stat to identify some lower tier items. Which Imwin 13. Let's see. Me two. Minsk zero. Five on Khalid. Two on Jahira Kavan two. Okay. So if we want a low tier item would be considered like perhaps some arrows right so if we move these to her they may get id'd or something huh i don't know it may just automatically happen i have no idea how we make it happen make it go <laughs> we'll see we'll see maybe the lore just isn't high enough at the moment right okay and then also general viewer gary pointed out that in fact 
we can have a person who is high, uh, what do you call it, at the front of our party for charisma without them being at the very front of, like, our choo-choo train here. Because there's a few party formations we can pick that put them, like, somewhere in the middle, right? <laughs> Which did not even occur to me, right? So we've got that going on. Very much spoiled by the new, um, what would you say, the new conveniences of, of games like Pillars of Eternity where you can make a completely custom party formation, just drag and drop stuff. Maybe you could do stuff here, but I don't know how. <laughs> I only know the, the pre-built ones, but there's a, there's a pre-built one where, so you can see here, I don't know if you can make it out on the yub tub, but Imowen goes kind of right there in the near the back, middle back. All right, but nonetheless, it's time to head out. Yep, this way. Get this shit done. Uh-oh, we're a little bit clogged up here. Did we search this yet? We did not. A short sword. Oh, oh shit. Okay. There we go. Let's see, a shitload of scrolls. What is this? Moonblade plus three? Oh my god. What is this? This potent weapon was created by the smiths of ancient myth Draenor. Moon blades are used in the long process of selecting a ruler for the Isle of Evermeet. A moon blade chooses its owner, and in the case of this sword, it has chosen the elf Jean. Oh, right, melee stuff, right? Okay. Only Jean can use this blade. Anyone else who tries will find themselves unable to lift it. This particular moon blade gives resistance to fire and a bonus to the user's armor class. Aha. Uh -huh. It is a dagger. Okay. Let's see. We also have right here a short sword, as well as a, several potions. Let's just yoink all this stuff up as best we can. I've got this. Let's see. There we go. Good. But kicking for goodness. See how could how could we ever say no to? I'll do Minsk? my best. How could we ever deny that? As you direct. All right. Good. Okay. Now, let's haul ass out of here. Very well. We're going to try and put off resting again. We may very well need to... Ooh, shit, look, everyone's kind Don't of, like, jammed me. up here. What uh, do you need? Don't worry about me. Should we me. just have one person, like, go at a time, or...? Uh-oh. Is this, like, the secret if trap? None are better. Uh-oh. Okay. Everything... You want it? You've it fixed it. itself, sort of. I think. I care not. I've done had enough of this. Oh, dear. Okay, just one person move at a time. Me. There we go. As you direct. Okay, good. <laughs> Fixed it. You're a queer. It. This way. Okay. Let's see. Is there actually anything else of value in here, or have we just fully exhausted it all? I think we've fully exhausted it all. All right. Very well. You know this, the timed quests and all that. I really do not enjoy them <laughs> in like a role playing game, right? Especially when, like, the game isn't built around, like, monitoring the timer, right? Like, you can have some fun stuff with, with regards to, like, oh, yeah, at least, like, you can change time and all that, or whatever, right? Some sort of ocarina of time situation. But even here, it's pretty rough because we don't even know how much time we have, right? It's completely in the dark to us, which is pretty fucking harsh, in my opinion, right? Didn't even, like, Fallout 1 infamously has a pretty, like, restrictive and harsh timer for, like, the first 66% of the game or something like that. I don't know how, how much of a percentage, but for at least the big first portion of the game is under a time constraint. But I think they do tell you how much time you have remaining, right? Okay, let's head on out of here. Very much of that era, you know? Having time constraints and all that. Oh shit, where the fuck am I? These are cacti. World map. Okay, yeah, I didn't even need to look it up. Yeah, there's the Null Stronghold that we need from Minsk. Okay, very good. Dude, where? We're here. Okay. Dude, these mines stretch far. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Let's do a quick save in case we get I'm accosted gone. by some, like, bear or 
skeletal dude or whatever. I mean, do we even want to exit through this method? Because we're going to have to travel, aren't we? Hmm. Should we exit back out the mine from the way we emerged? Because when we fast travel around, we're going to spend time. However, in spending time... Oh, shit. Going through the dungeon. Oh, shit. A little further into the cave, you can see that it's collapsed. It looks as if going back into the cave is now impossible. The only way through the rubble would be from the other side. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's see how much time it takes, and worst case, we can, like, do a quick load. Right? We're very near the edge of the map. There's a knoll here attacking. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes, <laughs> Nailed him. Okay. Up and over here. Good. And... Shit, yeah, that is a full fucking day. 24 hours from here to get back to the mines? Because don't we need to speak with uh, the fucking dude who gave us permission to enter? Yeah, let's load our save back inside and we'll just travel through the mine, I think. Right? Let's see. Yeah, this looks good. Right here. I've done and we'll just go reverse through all this because it'll save us so much time. Right? Because already we spent, like, 24 hours resting. And who knows how much getting out here after we met with Kavan. So I'd say we're probably, like, roughly 50% of the way through Kavan's timer. I am gone. Right? I'm assuming nothing is respawned here, right? I'm assuming that that is not going to occur in this. Alright, let's see up here. I'm gonna go around that area. Do you like this? What a what a neat and fascinating tactic, huh? Oh shit. Except for the fact when <laughs> Jahira and Kavan just kinda got stuck over there. You'd think with their elven like infravision or whatever it's called. It is infravision, right? Or infrared? No, it's infra. Because it's meant to be a play on infrared, isn't it? But nonetheless, you'd think that. Didn't one get sucked up into a pocket corner like that or whatever, huh? Poor Minsk. What a trooper, though. Running around at one health. Good god, what a champ. Also, found out, I forgot who, I didn't even think this would come up. But someone also wrote in, and of course thanks as always to all the people who also give them likes and all that to like signal boost. But... I'm gone. Um, someone wrote in saying that we should not worry too much about health buff effects wearing off and that killing us. Because by default we should either rest at 1 HP or... I forget which one they... what they said. We either... you either survive it and you're just put at 1 HP or you just get KO'd. Right? Because we're on the difficulty where you don't get like... insta-killed. Right? Oh no wait, this is the, the way out, isn't it? Yeah. Over here. Whoops. There. See, although this this consumes some real-world time, mm, in-game world time, we're just, like, speeding right along. I was also checking the journal to see if, before I went to look up their timers, or after I went to look up their timers, because I don't know the starting point of when we got all their quests. I was looking to see if you we could... Gather your party before if we could tell I've and discern from, like, our journal this. entries or whatever. Just, like, how long we've been hanging out with them, right? When we met them, when we got those quests. All right. I think we can also, like, read shit here. If we wanted, but we don't really have anything to read. Right? I mean, I guess we've got, like... Yep, we're moving while we have inventory up. No, it pauses. Yeah, look at that. Okay, fair enough. Oh, can we talk to this miner now? Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Okay, I think that's similar stuff. Yeah, nothing new there. Fair enough. Oh, and look, Immawin going into detection mode. You must gather your party before. Does it make Immawin travel slightly slower and shit? This way. 
Okay, can we speak to these guards and tell them that we fixed the problem? Stand it all away, up? citizen! What the? You lived? Are you telling me that you waltzed through our minds and took care of the problem? Just like that? <laughs> Good on you, friend. You're a hero in Nashkel now. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Emerson. Right. Let's trade some words here, pal. I forgot how Emerson sounded. Well, bless my soul. You made it back alive. If you don't mind me saying, you're about the most beautiful sight I've seen in weeks. I'll be telling the men to get back to work. We've got ore to mine. Still can't ship it for fear of bandits, but they but that ain't my problem. Best you tell the mayor of what you did here, cause he'll likely give you a reward of some kind. Okay. Emerson seemed quite happy about being able to get back to work, though there is still the problem of bandits attacking caravans. Oh, and he also said to go see the mayor for a reward. Oh, look at us. We're so coy. Oh, and he also said that we just happened to be the fucking... That Team Bald was just so fucking cool. That, you know, he said that we were, like, the most beautiful people, most gorgeous people we would ever seen. And, and that we Steve. were, like, fucking the had legend, huge fucking right muscles and were just sexy as shit. Oh, my gosh. He was so, he was just like, he was loving it. <laughs> All right, let's head on up here to Nashkel. Look at that. Only four hours now. Very well. Good. This way. And this is following along with the main quest, which we need to do for, for, uh, Kavan. Yeah. Additionally, I should travel to Baragos and pay a visit to Feldpost Inn. Oh, right, for confronting, confronting, uh, Tronzik. Okay. We have a house here, but no time for exploring houses. What I am worried about with Kavan's quest is that we're going to be encountering, like, very high difficulty shit because we're having to, like, plow ass through some of the main quest line. But we'll see. All right. Ooblek. Hey. Let's see, where is Baron Gaskill? Oh, there you are. There we are. Good. Let's have some words. How does Baron Gaskill even sound? I don't remember. You have returned! It would seem I was right to trust you. The town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It is a small fortune by anyone's standards. Thank you again. Hey, I also found this vial of liquid on one of the kobolds in the mines. I think it might have something to do with the iron. Hmm, I'm no master of metals, but you might want to show that to Thunderhammer up in Baragost. You might know a little more. Again, thank you for all you've done. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Oh, you took the... Okay. Holy symbol in the letter. I see. Why did you want that? I successfully cleared the Nashkill mines and was rewarded handsomely for my efforts. 900 gold from Baron Gaskill, and the thanks of the entire town. Iron will slowly filter back to the coast now, though transporting it is still a treacherous business. The bandits on the roads will have to be dealt with. Very well. Okay. Let's see. I should travel to Baragos and pay a visit to Feldpost Inn. A man by the name of... Oh. That was a noble deed. Baron Gaskill suggested I take the vial to Terum Fririum in Baragos. I'll likely know what to do with it. Alright. I am go. death oh. come for thee. <gasps> Surrender, and thy passage shall be... Quicker. <laughs> Your name is Nimble with a UL. <laughs> I surrender. I don't wish to fight. Just don't hurt me. What? I'm not surrendering anything. Yeah, eat shit, Nimble. Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for my money. 
Why, Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you. I'll never know. Wait, you don't know why? Huh. Just just want that big money. Oh my gosh, Kagane, Rasad, join in combat. Oh my gosh, they're a wizard lord. Oh shit, good thing we quick saved. Wait, are they actually helping? No. Okay, he was just having some- Wait! Rasad really is helping! Oh, fuck! What do you need? Uh, should I cure light wounds or go, like, buck wild here or whatever? Hmm. Let's hold out ones and see if we can just burn through them. We'll see. Oh, fuck yes. Wow, 650 XP just for one dude? This way. Dang. Imowen has also leveled up. Let's see. Let's get you a level. Do I get to invest anything this time? Oh, oh shit, I do. Okay. Let's see. I probably want fine traps and, like, open locks up high, right? Hmm. Let's go with fine traps. We'll put that at 50. Open locks, we'll put that at 50. Actually, we'll put it at 55. Right? Oh, should we do detect illusion? I don't know. Who's good at detecting illusions? Because Imowen's already not great at that. Right? Oh, shit. Huh. Are there other people who could get good at illusions? Because I feel like we should enhance Imowen's strengths of finding traps and locks right now. Rather than trying to shore up detect illusion. Yeah. We'll just have to get fucked with detecting illusions. Right? So be it. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Now, what do you have on you? What is this? Oh my god, look at this shit. Boots and ring and short sword and another letter. Nimble. The money you have received from Transig should cover your usual fee. Your assignment is a difficult one, but I'm sure that you are up to the task. There is a group of mercenaries who should be coming through Nashkel in the next few days. They are led by a whelp named Lila Schnub. You are to kill Lila Schnub and all that travel with her. I warn you, they might not look like much, but they are very dangerous. Good hunting, Tazak. <gasps> Tazak! Throwing axes as well. I guess everything here is just worth taking. Okay. Who can haul off some shit, though? The group. Shit, we're getting, like, full up on all sorts of shit, huh? Let's see, who can drop junk? Let's get rid of this. Over here. Is this a- no, that's a plus one. Let's see. Oh! I can actually hold a few things. Okay. There we are. Should we take the letter? I feel like we really should. Hmm. We don't need this basic-ass armor. Right? Or is it worth a lot? I don't know. I guess I don't need a short bow, right? There we are. And then we just need one more unit taken. we we'll drop these. Okay. That ought to do it. Yeah, thanks, Rasad. Holy shit. I've done had enough of this. What a champ. Helping us out. Right as we're passing by and another assassin lunges at us. Good lord. Are we gonna get another fucking assassino up there at, um, Varagost, I'd imagine? Alright. Let's head on up and out. There we go. How far is Baragost? Weirdly, only 12 hours. Right? It looks so much further on the map than when we were over here. And it was 24 hours back to the mine. Huh. What can you do? Okay. Now we're here. Baragost. I'm gone. Very good. Alright. Let's see. A quick save here. Oh, uh, that oh shit. Did. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Wait, you're the old man in red from before, aren't you? 
Or are you a different one? Elminster? Yes, it is you. Well, now, our paths cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order, as we will no doubt meet again. My name is Elminster. I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we had been apart. It would seem thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. You know nothing of my burdens, old man. Just doing what had to be done. I was not aware that my actions were common knowledge. Yeah, actually, fair enough. Except for, I guess, maybe the ore thing, but beside that... Let's go with this. Perhaps not common knowledge, but everything is plain for those that know where to look. As it is, I'm aware of thine efforts and accomplishments. Thou art quite adept, as Gorion predicted. All that remains is to determine motive. Gorion? You knew him, but you said nothing before. My motives are my own and no one else's. Gorion, you knew him? Twas neither the place nor the time for such things. As painful as these circumstances may have been, it was time for thee to forge thine own path. One of the most valuable lessons that life has taught me is when not to go sticking my pipe in other people's affairs. Such is the case now as well. But you could tell me so much about Garion and myself alike. Please, stay a while and listen. <laughs> Thank goodness. Does that mean I shall be spared any more of your chatter? <laughs> then I shall be on my way. Please tell me more. Tell me more. I fear I cannot. Self-discovery is best left to this self, and all thy questions will be answered in time. I will offer a small tidbit of information, though thou hast likely heard the same from another source already. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit traveling the, of traveling in the northeast. A search in that direction will no doubt yield fruitful results. With this, I shall take my leave. Goodbye, you strange wizard. Oh, you're just going in there. I bet if we go in, he has disappeared. Oh, you smell. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, it was probably this NPC. <laughs> I thought it was someone in our party. Oh, no. Lila Schnob, Lila Schnob. Someone in the jovial chuckler gave me a gold piece to come find you. Slow down, breathless child. Who is tossing money about in hopes of finding me? <laughs> I really want to say that. How do you know my name, child? The jovial juggler. Where is that? Slow down, breathless child. Her name's Officer Vi, and she's with the Flaming Fist. And you needn't worry, she's real nice. By the way, how did you know my name? She's in the Jovial Juggler, you said. Where is that? Thank you, child. You have earned your gold piece. I will go to the Jovial Juggler and meet with Officer Vi shortly. How do you know my name? Why, everyone here is talking about you. <laughs> You're the one who saved the Nashkel mines. My mama says that even though we don't like those folks from Arm, there's no reason anyone should have to suffer so. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> well, that's us, I guess. You've got a good eye. Now, who is this person that wants to see us so... Do want, who wants so much to see us? I suppose you're right, little one. Now, this person who sent you, they're in the jovial juggler. Could you tell me where that is? Who, tell me more about this person. 
Oh, no, wait. We heard about this. Where is the jovial juggler? The jovial juggler in the fate fest hall. It's in the southeast part of town. Just look for a sign out front with a jest on it. Very well. I shall seek out the sign with the jester on it and meet your friend within. Good! (laughs) (laughs) You folks are real nice. Mama says the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Tomorrow be with you, okay? Okay. Bye. (laughs) A girl named Chloe told us that someone named Officer Vi is waiting to speak with us at the Jovial Juggler in Barragost. Look, she's going in there too. What do you know? Do you know Elminster? Elminster sounds like a fucking cheese. This way. (gasps) They they fucking disappeared, man. (laughs) Let's speak with this dude. Thunderhammer. Is that what they call you? Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? I've just come from Nashkel. I found this vial of kobold piss on one of the kobolds lurking in the mines. I think it might be what's causing the iron to break. You found it just like that. Well, that certainly does illuminate things, doesn't it? I thought maybe you could use it. To find a way to reverse the effects? I couldn't, no. But I know someone who can. Give me a few days and I should have some results. Very well. I should return to Thunderhammer Smithy in a couple of days to see if Tayrum has found a way to reverse the effects of the Kobold's Piss. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. That was not his voice at all. All right, here, what have you got? We need to sell a few things. Right, we could also stand to ID a few things just as well. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's get some identifications going on. Oh, look, some of the arrows did get ID'd, I think. Oh. Chloe's back. <laughs> All right, identify this shit. Look, you can't even identify this. Wow, what? Do we have to take this to, like, a priest or something? Oh, can you only identify smithy shit, right? Because you can't make rings. You don't, you're not familiar with them. Oh, is that it? Boots of grounding. Oh, my gosh. By Talos. (laughs) Talos' gift. Untold years ago. The fortress of the Star Spire Peninsula was placed under the direct torment of Talos when a favored storm herald was murdered there. Talos promised the destruction of the city by earthquakes, its isolation by tidal waves, and the death of its citizens by storms. One pair of these boots was bestowed to ensure that none but a single man would survive to tell the story of his wrath. No one realized that they could have (laughs) just one boot per person. (laughs) Later, travelers seeking fortune in the ruined city came upon an aged man, maddened by the continuous destruction around him. The boots he wore would carry to many a distant land the legend of a city consumed by a god's rage. (gasps) Electrical resistance, plus 50%. Whoa! Oh, this is just a basic ass. This short blade is magical, improving accuracy and damage. It does nothing in unique. Okay, fair dues. Over here. There we are, we get this multi-select. You like that? (laughs) I fucking do. Let's see. All right. Just a basic ass small shield. Hmm. All right. Oh, look, we never read Wakazashi lore, though. It seems important. 
the wakazashi, or companion sword, is extremely important to the samurai. It is worn at all times, even indoors, and is near the samurai when he sleeps at night. Wu Zhen masters have concealed within the wakazashi great power, unleashed only when the wielder is in the thick of battle. How or why this wakazashi made it to Faerun is unknown, but if the samurai who owned it still lives, he will certainly be looking for it. Huh. So this is actually a special one. Yeah, within this wakazashi, specifically. Strange. And this is just another magical short sword. Fair enough. Anything on you? Nope. More boots. <clears throat> Give it an ID. Boots of avoidance. Senses of the cat. <laughs> the magic of these boots was specifically designed to detect incoming missiles and aid the wearer in avoiding them. Very strange. <laughs> they were originally commissioned by the instructor of an archery academy who had tired of suffering accidents at the hands of his inexperienced students. Plus five armor class versus missile attacks. Pretty good. How about on you? Anything on you? Nah. Fair enough. All right. And do we have anything to sell? Yeah, let's get rid of this shit. Hmm. Yeah, Kavan has a bunch of trash to get rid of. Fair enough. There we are. I think we'll keep a light crossbow and a short bow, right? Just in case. Should we keep some studded leather armor as well? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll sell all that, though. Anything over here? Senses of the cat. Get rid of that. On you. Get rid of these things. Good. We'll keep a halberd in case someone likes that. Well, now, fuck that. Getting rid of it. Let's see, a flail? Does someone like a flail? I don't know. Don't we have someone who's skilled at the wakazashi? I think we might. There we are. Oh yeah, look, chainmail is fairly valuable. Okay, throwing daggers, Talus's gift, belt of the antipode, gem bag. All right, good. That'll do. Okay, huh, so we've got a couple a of days fellow. to I've wait done for had this. Enough of this. All right, let's head on out here. Actually, you know I'm what? Gone. When next we come back, we will head over to the jovial juggler and investigate. What is next to come for Team Bald? Who knows what awaits just around the corner? What adventures may be found from S Captain Vi? Commissioner Vi? Someone Vi. <laughs> and perhaps Kivan will finally find the vengeance that they do seek. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Until next time, please take care of each other.